Hi, this is Marcus again with another episode of Zen How. In today's episode, we're going to be taking a closer look at the new Zenfone AR. And towards the end of the video, we're going to be giving away some cool prizes. So stay tuned. <laughs> I'm sure you've already heard about the exciting Zenfone AR. In case you haven't, it's Asus's new augmented reality smartphone that comes with Pango enabled and Daydream ready technologies. It also features 8GB RAM and a powerful 14 nanometer Qualcomm 821 processor that's specially optimized for AR experiences. But today I want to show you how you can use this exceptionally powerful hardware to shoot, edit and export 4K videos. For the editing part I will use a video editing app called Cyberlink Power Director. Because this is a really cool app, we're going to give away free download codes to 100 lucky viewers. Before I can show you how this app works, we're going to need some footage. This is Corral, our director. He's normally the guy overlooking the entire process. But for today's episode, he's agreed to get his hands on the Zenfone AR's 23 megapixel camera and take some footage himself. Just as in previous models, the Zenfone AR has optical and electronic image stabilization that will make sure your videos are smooth. The Zenfone AR can shoot slow motion videos in up to 120 frames per second, giving the footage a real premium look. It's been a long day, but look, the battery level is still above 50%, and that's thanks to Zenfone AR's 3300 milliamp hour battery. It's so powerful, they will even forget to charge it from time to time. Okay, let's find a quiet spot and see what we can do with the footage. So first, we'll open the app. So in PowerDirector, the first thing to do is click the big button in the middle and create a new project. Then give your project a name. It will take you to the import video screen so you can just push the back button to get you out of there. At the bottom is our timeline, and on the right hand side there is share, settings, undo and play buttons. And on the left we've got the main feature buttons. Below the back button there is import, layers and effect buttons. Now we'll import the video we just shot. First, we'll go through the video and trim any bits we don't want from the ends. We can also cut any bits we don't want from the middle and move pieces into new positions. Alright, so now we need some audio. This will go nicely I think. As you can see, the audio has been added under our timeline. We can add some titles too. We'll tap the layer button and title. Let's choose this template. The next thing we'll do is color grade the video. I'll tap the clip and then hit the edit button and pick color adjustment. I'll tweak these settings to get the look I want. This looks good. All right, so we're all done. Let's export our final edit as a 4K video so we can watch it on a bigger screen. have it. Not that difficult is it? I hope you enjoyed today's episode and you liked the video we shot and edited on Zenfone AR. Though 4K exporting on PowerDirector is only available as an in-app upgrade. As promised, we'll randomly choose 100 viewers and give them each a code to enjoy this premium feature. Simply like and share this video to your favorite social media with the hashtags Zenfone AR and PowerDirector and you'll be in the running to win a code. Cheers and see you next time.